Good morning everyone and welcome to our next cake decorating class for kids. I'm Angela from Cake Angel. I'm Dylan. And this week we're going to continue on from last week's class where we ran through some buttercream basics and we're going to make some cool caterpillars and some flowers. Yay! So to start this week we're just going to quickly run through the tips that we're going to use in this class. So let's have a closer look at those. Okay, so this week we're using the 352 tip. Can you see that? Remember we used this last yeah, week? That yeah, that was the beak. This is the beak, so we're going to use that one again. And we're going to do three new tips this week. So this one, if you can see it, is a petal tip. Oh. It's a 104. Ooh. And this is going to help us make the flowers. Ooh. This one is a grass tip. You see all those little holes? Yeah. So this is a 233. Three. We're gonna make lots of cool grass with that. Mm. And this is a round tip. So we're using a number five. You could also do this technique with a bigger tip, like a 12, or a smaller tip, like a three. But we're gonna go in the middle and use a five today. Okay. Okay, you ready to get going? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our grass. Yay. So we're going to have a go at doing four cupcakes this week. We're going to do two caterpillars. Okay. And the caterpillars are sitting on our grass. We've got our green icing. We're using a coupler this week in each of our bags because we want to change the tips over. Yeah. Okay, so let's pop this on. Can you remember how to fix it? Yes. So when you fix the other end on your coupler, make sure you give it a good twist until it stops. That's it. Perfect. Make sure you don't twist too far and start to do this because the bag could actually break. It's a thin plastic bag. So that's that tip ready. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and show you how it works. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So when you pipe with this one, if you're doing grass, you want to hold your bag really straight. Okay, so let's have a go. Can you see? Let's change the angle so you can maybe see a little better. By doing over exaggerated ones, you can get a good idea of what it does. You see how it makes all those strings of ice yeah, in? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? So yeah. you can make all sorts of things with it. You can make cool monsters for Halloween. Wacky heads. You can for make wacky right. You can make bird's nests for Easter too. Yeah. Different colours. But we're gonna make grass. So the trick when you make grass with this tip is you're gonna hold it straight and you're gonna pipe and you're just gonna pipe straight up and stop. Straight up and stop. Okay. So I'm gonna show you on a cupcake next because it's a little easier for everyone else to see as well. Okay, so let's clean off my tip first. So it's going to come through all those little holes that we have on the tip. Let's do it at an angle so you guys can see too. So we're going to pipe. Can you see it just coming out? Yep. And then pull. Pipe and pull. And it doesn't matter if it falls over, it's grass, right? Yeah. So completely natural, so you have lots of room to have it look however you please. You can do any style. That's right. You can have long grass, you can have short grass. And it comes together really quickly as well. And if you notice, I'm hardly squeezing the bag. The icing is nice and soft for us. So this is somewhere around a medium consistency. If it was a little too soft, then it would flop over. You see how it just flops over a little bit here. Yeah, but grass is like that. Exactly. And don't forget our caterpillar is going to sit on top too. Yeah. So he's going to squish some of that grass. <laughs> yeah. So let's just work our way around. It's a pretty cool technique and nice and easy. Just want to keep that pressure not too hard really because like I say when you've got a lot of icing in the bag you could actually squeeze the bag and break it so little bits of squeezing and pulling you don't want to break the bag that's right and there's our grass you ready to have a go yes come on then it looks delicious okay so do you, let me hold it for you there you go so squeeze and pull up that's it. Yeah, look at that. 
Woohoo! Wacky hair day! And the more you do this, you get used to the pressure on the bag too. So let's just push that icing down to the bottom. Yes. There you go. So don't forget as well, when you're piping, if you're squeezing from the bottom, the icing is going to try and squeeze out the top. Little less pressure. There you go. Okay, let's squeeze the icing down again. Try and hold the bag kind of here. That's it. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'll hold it steady for you. That's it. Squeeze and stop. And you get spiky grass. Yeah. Good job, keep going. So, with this it can be any design you want. Yeah. So you see if you were going to do monsters, you could put some cute little eyes on it, you could do smiles. Yeah. Is your hand getting tired yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to build up those muscles when you pipe it like this. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. You're almost done. You got it. Good job. Okay, do a little bit there. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. So we have a question from Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Um, do we suggest buying supplies from Bolt Barn or Michaels? So you can get uh, these kind of supplies from either of those places. Don't forget, both of those stores do coupons as well, so always make sure you use those. And um, Amazon is also really handy for buying tips and bags, especially if you're doing a lot of decorating. You can get bags in bulk on Amazon. So I go through quite a lot of bags, don't I? Yeah. So, uh, Amazon's really handy. But yeah, for sure, absolutely. Bulk Barn and Michaels are really, really good places to get a lot of these decorating tips. And there we go. Let's take a look. What do you think? Uh, Pretty good. good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's switch over to a different icing bag okay. now. So you can give your hand a rest, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My fingers are so tired. I know, right? Okay. So the next one I'm going to show you is the pink. Ooh. So we're going to do a flower next. So this, as I said, is a 104. It's a pedal tip that has a narrow end and a wider end. Mm. And when you pipe, there's a certain way you want to hold it to make sure the flower comes out properly. So let's go back to our paper and you can see what I mean. So I'm holding the bag quite flat this time. Okay. And then I'm squeezing. You see how it comes out? And I just turn the bag slightly. It looks like ice cream. It does look like ice cream, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So that makes your little pedal and you can just go around and and fill it in. Ooh. A little easier on a cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea and yeah. you see how it gives all these cute little ruffles as well. Yeah. So it looks realistic. So we're gonna have a go at doing that on a cupcake next. Ruffle ruffles. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm doing a flower, I'm gonna start with the tip, the wide end in the middle keeping it flat and I'm just turning my cupcake. I'm not really moving my hand when I do this because I want to let the cupcake guide it instead. And then I go back and it ruffles. What do you think? Ooh. So this is kind of like a hibiscus, I guess. Yeah. Little tropical flower. And I like doing flowers because when you do something that's in nature, there's no rules. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it's as perfect as you make it. Yeah. And remember to have fun. That's right. Always have fun when you're doing this stuff yes. and you get to eat it at the end. Yes. Which is a bonus, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so there's our first layer. I've left a hole in the middle intentionally because now we're going to go back and we're going to add our second layer of petals. Ooh. Ooh. So this time, I'm just going to tip the angle of my tip ever so slightly. So instead of it being completely flat, just kind of standing up a little bit this time. Mm. You can also tilt your cupcake instead if you find that easier. And then we're going to go around. 
and we're just building it up you can do as many layers as you like you can go really crazy with this if you want to so my friend Ree from back home in Wales has just said hi hi Ree hope you're doing well and so who else has just logged in can you see yeah, Nanny's watching from Wales too, isn't she? Yeah. So hi everyone, we're happy you're watching along with us today. And there we go. Yeah, sprinkles at the end. We're going to do sprinkles in the middle for our pollen, just to make yes. it a bit more realistic. And I'm just going to put a little splodge of icing in the middle to hold them in place. So you can see, if you like a lot of icing, this is a great cupcake for you. Yeah. Okay, you ready to have a go? Yeah. Okay. Let's just get a Grab a cupcake. So this time I'll hold the, help you with the bag. So you're right-handed, so you're going to go this way, okay? So pipe, keep the bag still and I'll twist the cupcake. Not bad. If you hold the bag a little bit further up, you want to hold the bag up here? Yeah. There you go. Okay, you squeeze and I'll twist the cake for you. See how it comes out a little bit? Yeah. There you go. Let's go again. It looks really cool. And it's nice because it gets that nice little ruffle design too. Yeah. That's it. Keep going. Your arms are really getting to work out today. Aren't yeah. They? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So again, always make sure you're going to keep that tip at the same angle. The wide end is in the middle of the cupcake. The narrow tip is on the outside and that's what actually gives you the ruffle. As the icing works its way through the tip, it actually just kind of hits the narrow end. It causes that nice little ruffle for us. That is looking really cool. Yeah. I think this is my best cupcake yet. Maybe, shall we see? Yeah. One more petal for this one and then let's take a look. There you go. That's good. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go again? Yes. Okay, so let's just adjust the bag. Give your arm a little squeeze. <laughs> okay, you ready to go again? Yeah. Yeah. I need an arm workout before I do these. I know, right? Yeah. Cake decorating is really great for your muscles. You want to have a go too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you want to hold here? Uh, yeah. It's awkward, right? There you go. That's better. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's okay. We can fix it, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay, let's wipe off that tip a second. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So make sure that wide tip is at the bottom. Perfect. Let's go do that middle layer. I think you're getting the hang of it now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's similar to the grass tip, really. You don't need to squeeze too hard. If you find you are having to squeeze too hard, it's maybe an indicator that your icing is a little bit on the stiff side. So you could um, either just kind of knead it in your hand, sorry, knead the bag in your hand, not the icing, because that'd be messy, right? No. <laughs> um, so yeah, knead the icing bag in your hand, because the heat from your hand will actually soften that icing up a little bit. But if it is really stiff, it's probably best to squeeze it out of the bag, add a tiny bit of water to it, and then rebag it and start piping again. Look at that. What do you Ooh. think, guys? That's Dylan's first flower cupcake. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little squeeze in the middle. And then we're ready for sprinkles. Yay, 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 Perfect. yay, 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 Sprinkles. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go back to our green. Are your arms mm. up to doing another, another uh, grass cupcake? Yep. Yeah. yeah? I'll show you another go quickly. So just squeeze and pull. 
So this time I'm going from the outside, but it really doesn't matter, right? No. No. Such a satisfying sound it makes. When the icing comes out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just love the look of this tip. The, the way that the icing comes out of it is so cool. Yeah. I think we'll have to do a Halloween class, won't we, with monsters using this tip too. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yes. Spoiler alert. Okay, so I just pushed the bag tie down a little bit to help keep the icing in place. And your muscles are getting tired, so I'm going to help you with this. That's it. You have a good squeeze going there. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> It gets stuck a lot. It does, that's okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You got it. Keep going. It's almost there. Just need to fill in that gap. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll have a nice home for our caterpillar to sit on. We'll squeeze there. There we go. We'll do a little bit there. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So for now, I'm going to swap the tip over. We're done with our grass tip. Okay. I wonder what the next tip is going to be. So remember the leaf tip from last yes, week? So the, the beak. beak tip. <laughs> <laughs> so again, that's the 352 tip. And we'll just quickly run through. This is a technique we did last week as well. So we're going to do just two little leaves under the flower. So I'm having the, the tips so that they're one on top of the other again. So it looks like a beak. Yes. Really cool way to yeah. remember how to use yeah. it, right? And then I'm just finding a gap on the cupcake, which is here. And I'm squeezing, giving it a bit of a shake so we have a yeah. nice ruffly leaf. Yeah. Yeah, and that just finishes that cupcake off nicely yeah. before we add the sprinkles, though. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Before we add the sprinkles and before we add the caterpillars. Yes. So let's find a spot mm, where should we put Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> Squeeze. Yeah. And pull. pull. Look at that. Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You want to do another one? Yeah. Yeah. Squeeze. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be your cupcake for later, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last one, we're going to switch over to our yellow. And we're going to do our flower on that one quickly as well. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so again, you start from the outside to the end. Wide and down, yes. remember? And then squeeze and turn. So, whereas leaves are squeeze and pull, this is squeeze and turn. Squeeze and turn, right? <laughs> A ton of mechanics. Yep. And it gives that nice ruffle as it comes out. I think this is one of my favorite tips to use, actually. There's so many different flowers you can do with it. Mm. What flowers? So you can do daffodils. Thinking of now as we're doing yellow, mm. it would be really nice to do daffodils with this in, mm, in March, yeah. wouldn't it, for St. David's Day? Oh, yeah. You can do pansies, violets. How long are we going to do this? The classes? Yeah. So our classes are going to run for another eight weeks after this one, Ooh. so it'll be ten weeks in total, okay. which takes us right up until the end of the school holidays here in Canada. Okay. So basically that's up until the end of August, um, um, but we're probably going to do specials, right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll do some at Halloween, we'll do something for Christmas. Yeah. And we'll see. If you guys like watching, then we'll keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, your turn. How's that arm doing? Uh, just tired. Yeah. <laughs> Want some help? Yeah. Okay. 
I need the left arm, but but I'm right-handed. That's right. You get a better control with your pressure now, though. You yeah. see, look, it's flowing out real good. Squeeze and turn. That's it. Keep it a little flatter. See, it stood up a little oh. bit. Whoops. <laughs> it drips. Ah, it's okay. Sometimes it's a little messy, right? Yeah. That's part of the fun. Yeah. This is looking awesome, Dylan. Hmm. Okay, keep it a little flatter. So that's it. You got it. I like this one. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of marigolds a little bit. They're one of mummy's favorite flowers, right? Yeah. Okay, ready to do the middle? Yes. Let's go. Almost there. You notice because you've got your angle of your tips slightly up. See how they stand up and they get that yeah. nice curly edge as well? Yeah. That's a really nice detail. It looks like there's multiples then. It does, yeah. There it is, yeah. Okay, you happy with that? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so the last touch for that before we do our sprinkles, can you remember? We um, need to add... Caterpillars! We're going to do the leaf first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not caterpillars. Okay, leaf. you want to do your leaf first then yeah. on yours? Yeah. Still got my teeth. Ready? That's it. You want to push your icing down. Squeeze and... Shake. <laughs> Squeeze and And I know you can't see this because he's off camera, but Dylan is actually shaking as he's doing this. Just for effect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Looks, That's awesome. It Excellent. Looks, it looks like there's a hand coming out of it. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Giving you ideas for Halloween, right? Yes. So the next thing is you want to do the sprinkles next for the cup, for the flowers. Yes. Yeah. So for the inside of the flowers, we're just going to use some white sprinkles yes and similar to the black ones that we used last week and these will soften up nicely once they have sat in the buttercream for a little while so if you want to go ahead we're just going to add a couple in the middle and i need to add my leaf to my second flower so i'll go ahead and do that while you put your sprinkles on they roll around it's hard to find them when you're not looking. That's right. And, and the box is small. <laughs> yeah. The box is small. Let's tip them into here and make it easy for you. Yeah. There you go. And again, with it being something from nature, there's no exact number that you want to use for this. No. Just until you think it's enough. Yeah. They look great. Let's do this last one. Nope, they run away. There's always one. Yeah. <laughs> always one that wants to try and run away. That's it. We caught it though, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do one last one. See, this one's trying to escape yeah. too. <laughs> Just give it a push. Yeah. Here we go. So our flowers are done move these sprinkles out of the way so the last thing what's missing caterpillars. that's right we're gonna caterpillars. do our caterpillars yay so the caterpillar is essentially just lots of little balls of icing mm. and the nice thing is so we let the grass set up for a little bit so it starts to dry yes. I'm gonna swap my icing over to the tip five the tip that we did earlier, yeah. that we showed earlier. That's it. Spin. Perfect. Don't spin the bag. <laughs> so that's that one done. And we're also going to do our pink colour. And we're all set. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's take this one first and I'll show you how to start. Okay. Entirely up to you where you do this. So you could do the caterpillar sort of going around here. You could do it in the middle. Yeah. You could do a big swirly one. Hmm. Doesn't matter, right? No. They're all different. So what I'm essentially going to do for this is just hold the bag still and squeeze. And you see that it just builds up a nice ball of ice in. And then to finish it off, instead of just pulling it away, because that's going to cause a little bit of a peak, you want to actually leave it in place, stop piping, and then just kind of wipe it off the side. Oh. So it gives a little bit of a smoother look to the circle. The next one is going to be a little bit bigger. You it see how it just big. you keep everything still and squeeze and then stop? Yes. The next one is going to be even bigger. Even bigger, 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 bigger head. That's it. And again. So the head should be like really big. Yep. Oop, this guy looks like he's trying to fall off the cupcake. Let's <laughs> give him a nudge. Yes. <laughs> nudge, nudge. Okay, let's do maybe two more. One. Do you leave that one as the head or do yeah. one more, do you think? Uh, leave that one as the head. Okay. Let's leave him there to set up a little bit. You ready to try? Yes. Okay, so decide where you want to start. Where do you mm. want his head to be? There. Laying on the... Laying on the big bit, on the little mound. Um, you could be eating yeah. it, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe start here for your tail. That's it. Keep oh. the bag. Oops. <laughs> Squeeze your ice in down. That's it. Okay. Oh, come on. That's okay. <laughs> it does not work. Okay, ready? Don't put the bag. Okay, I'll hold this end for you. You want to put your hand in front of mine? Yeah. There. Okay, and stop. We're going to go this way, okay? Actually, let's go this way. That's it. Do a little bit of a bigger squeeze every time. Bigger. That's it. And then the next one. Bigger. Just this is a bigger. cute caterpillar. Bigger. <laughs> the head is going to be giant. That's it. He's kind of like the hungry caterpillar, right? Yeah. Okay, do a little bit more. This is the head. And he's eating the grass. He is eating the grass. Okay, so. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go over, do exactly the same thing in our yellow. So we start small. little bit bigger you could do this in different colors too like a yeah. multi-color caterpillar yeah. didn't you we get some pretty colorful caterpillars over here in Canada should we do one more yeah yeah Ooh, his head's trying to fall off again <laughs> <laughs> And you can always, as you can see here, I'm just using my tip to kind of push everything back into place. Yes. Okay, so there's that guy. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay, so a little one. And big. Okay, let's keep that tip nice and still. That's it. See how it builds up when you keep yeah. it still? We're going to do a lot more practice with the round tips as well over the next couple of weeks. And we're going to build it to actually starting to do some writing. Oh, I wonder when that is. Mm. I think maybe in two weeks time we might do that. This is another cute little caterpillar. Is that his head? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So the last step for the caterpillar is the sprinkles. 
So we're just using tiny sprinkles for their eyes. If you had black icing on hand, you could use that instead. And we didn't, so yeah. I decided to use some sprinkles instead. And these are tiny little ones, so... Or you could use chocolate chips if you need bigger heads. That's right. If you did a huge caterpillar, that would be a really cool thing yeah. to use, wouldn't it? Good idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take my first guy. And then hopefully the sprinkles don't jump out. But I'm yeah. just going to pop two in his head. So let's see. There's one. And instantly, as soon as you give something eyes and you give it features, they start to get a bit of a character. Yeah. This guy looks like he is ready to eat all of this grass. And and, there we go. And it looks like we're ready to eat it. <laughs> yes. Maybe this is lunch today. <laughs> Let's do the second one. Do you want to have a go too? Yes. Yeah. So when you use the sprinkles, they are all slightly different sizes, so try and get two that are the same size, otherwise your caterpillar is going to look a little bit wonky-eyed, I suppose. Mm, let's see. They look good. Yeah. And there's our second one. Oh, his eye fell off. <laughs> I got icing. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah. Let's see. He's like mid eat, isn't he? Yeah. You can see that he's just eating this little bit of grass yeah. right here. Yeah. You want to do your second one? Yes. Okay, if I hold it. You got two. Do you see you got two? Did I get two? <laughs> yes, I got two. These are so small. They are tiny. You could use tweezers for this as well if you wanted to. Next time we oh, use these, I'm going to need He's like, hi everyone. He's kind of looking up at you all. And there you go. Yeah. What do we think? Uh, I think it's good. It's cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. We hope you really enjoyed this. So it's just showing you a few different techniques that you can do with buttercream. And next week we're going to do something a little different. We're going to stay on the theme of buttercream. And what are we actually going to do next week, Dylan? Do you want to give them a Spoilers. clue? Spoilers. Spoilers. So our plan next week is actually to do some Pokemon cupcakes. Um, Dylan is a big fan of Pokemon Go. So it's the anniversary of the game next week. And we're going to make some really cool Pokemon cupcakes. So we hope you'll join us for that. Everything's going to be in buttercream again. And we'll post the information in a couple of days on our page. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have had a go at making these cupcakes, don't forget to post your pictures so we can have a look and see how wonderful your creations are. And that's it from us. Yeah. You have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Bye.